Yeah, no, they're, they're extremely important. Actually, I've, I've leaned on John and, uh, and Big J uh, for a lot this year, um, particularly in communicating to the young guys how hard this has to be, you know, in order for them to succeed. You know, it's not about where we are right now, but the road that's ahead is going to be challenging. You know, and between John and Jay, they've done a tremendous job of really articulating to the guys um, the things that they're going to encounter and how they have to battle through and how uncomfortable they're going to have to be in order to improve. For, for me is, you know, numerically, um, statistically, you know, how do we defend? Like, did, did, did we, did, did, were we a team that held opponents, you know, to a low shooting percentage? You know, did we value the basketball offensively? Were we a higher assist and lower turnover team? You know, um, how many points did we give up? Um, you know, did we execute our defensive plan you know, at a high level every single night, regardless of the outcome, win or lose. But those are the things that I'm kind of looking more as more of, you know, qualitative things and more just, you know, kind of numeric, numeric things. You know, for me, for us as a team is improvement. You know, where are we at the beginning of the year? Because th this this season is, 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 you know, you kind of have three seasons in one. You have the non-conference, you have the conference, you have the postseason. You know, and the goal is just to improve in every aspect, you know, every part. You know, are we better during our conference season than we were in a non-conference season? That's the goal, you know. Um, so for us, it's just more really looking for the quality. If we can focus on quality more so than just numbers, um, you know, it's a challenging non-conference schedule. I mean, if you really look at it, we are, we're, we're going to be tested, you know. Um, so I think, I think the quality is going to be the important piece for, for all of our fans at this point. The one thing that I ask them to do is to not have me coach their effort. And I will say that from the spring till now, their effort has been phenomenal. You know, they, they come in. I enjoy being around all of them. You know, we have a great group of, you know, from managers to the seniors and everybody in between. It's just, uh, um, I, think, I think it's a group that wants to get better. They want to improve. They're taking the coaching. You know, um, I've, I've asked them to, to kind of change their relationship, you know, with, um, with, with, with our with our coaching towards them, you know, not to take it as a negative thing, but to embrace it. And, you know, to the, for the most part, most of them have, you know, they, they are growing. Um, so I, I enjoy coming to work every day, you know, so that's that's the part that's genuinely, you know, exciting for me. Oh, uh, it's really exciting. Uh, we got a lot of young guys in here. We got some new guys in here. We got a whole new coaching staff. So the excitement level is high. Um, I'm looking forward to the whole leadership role. I'm the oldest guy on the team this year, which is the first. It's crazy how I go from being the youngest guy to the oldest guy, and it went by pretty fast. But I'm looking forward to it. It's a new challenge, and I'm just ready to get the season started. Well, of course, defense. Well, with Coach Sanchez coming in and that whole pack line defense and coming from Virginia and that whole, this Tony Bennett lineage, I'm mean, lineage just like the defense that kind of came with him. So, I mean, all summer long he's been talking about defense, efficiency, defense and efficiency. So those are the two areas I feel like I've improved on the most. I mean, Coach Sanchez, he's pretty free-flowing on offense. I mean, he gives us the uh, – he gives us the ability to play, make plays, uh, play out, not necessarily play outside of ourselves, but he gives everybody the ability to play our game. Like, I'm a pretty decent scorer, so he allows me the ability to score. He allows Big Jay to make plays around the rim. He allows shooters to shoot. So there's not really chains or shackles and everybody on offense is pretty free-flowing. The thing about this team is, I try to explain to him. I mean, we have a pretty tough out-of-conference schedule. I mean, we're going to see the best of the best when we go to, when we go to Hawaii. We got Oklahoma State coming in here. We play Wake Forest on the road. We play Davidson on the road. So it's going to be tough at first, and I'm just trying to get them to understand that, like, college basketball is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So, like, we can't get down on ourselves if we lose a game or if we have a tough, close game, we end up losing. Like, we can't get down on ourselves. And I'm just trying to show them that, like, college basketball is probably a six-, seven-month process. We obviously want to win games, but I think just getting better, you know, just getting better as the season goes along individually and as a group. If the individual players on the team get better and if the team gets better as a whole, then I think it'll be a success. Servanthood, really just serving one another, uh, willing to sacrifice your own ideals for the team. Uh, just team ideology, really. He just speaks a lot about team. He doesn't really talk about individual statistics. He doesn't talk really much about individual plays. His big focus on is his big focus is things that that cater to the team winning and the team getting better. And I think that's really like that's carried on because I carry on that message to the younger guys, and it's really it's really stuck with me because that type of like that type of mindset. Is really new because that's really what he preaches. His team is like the team aspect and serving, is serving one another. There's a lot more than like goes to on the court production than just playing that game. Like it's preparation before. It's your diet. It's your sleeping habits. Even little stuff like getting to class on time and how you present yourself, how you carry yourself on an everyday basis. All that caters to how you play on the court. 
Uh, it feels really good um, from the year that we had last year. Just being able to be back in this court with a whole different culture, a whole different group, a new coach. Um, it feels really good to get back in here. I'm really excited about what we're going to do this year, but it starts today, so I'm ready. Uh, coach Sanchez, he's a different guy in a good way. Um, when he first came in, he was talking to us about loving each other and uh, serving each other. And at first, I really didn't understand what he meant. But as we got into the depth of things and we started practicing it, he was always about the little things, setting good screens, getting nice, good, precise passes to your teammates. All that little stuff makes the biggest difference. People don't really realize that, but going forward and working out with him, you've seen the improvement in us as a group. Well, with these things, you know, we got a lot of uh, young guys. You know, me and JD are the only seniors on this team. So it's a very young team. Um, but the freshmen, they've came in, they've developed easily. They've, um, they're getting into the, the thing, they get into the, the motion of things. They're starting to understand, you know, what they need to do in this offense. And they're improving each and every day. Um, I got high hopes for these guys. I know they're going to do really well for our program. But, you know, us being so young, we can only expect so much. But from the work they put in, uh, I have high hopes for this, this season. Um, I think that the way we play defense is a testament to, to the togetherness of this team and us playing as one whole. Um, knowing Coach Sanchez coming from Virginia, we knew that it's going to be a defensive emphasis on our game. So it wasn't a, a shock or anything to anyone. But I think that the way we're playing, which is the pat line, is just that there's no one on ones. You know, every, everybody on the team is going to be helping out in some way, some fashion. And as long as we keep that unity, we'll be straight. I think it's going to do really good for us this season. I think that we're going. I think offense is going to take care of itself. Like I said, the name of the game now is just to play defense and get other people from stopping scoring. Because once you get to this level, anybody can score. It's all about a team playing as one and not letting anybody get anything easy inside the offense.